Here is the railroad crossing on the way out of Pogendorf. You can see the Bahnhof Platz and the church in the background. This is the crossing guard house from Auhagen, which I added last year, which was a nice touch. The road sign after the crossing is a little homage to my mother's hometown in Landshut in Bavaria, which is where my model railroading started when I was a boy. Now here's a close-up of the crossing gates. I used an inexpensive Bush railroad crossing model that cost me around 13 euros. As time went on though, I got interested in having gates that actually work. I came across this Noch model which has a mechanism to move the gates up and down. It has an actuator wire attached to a crossbar and a solenoid to move the crossbar up and down, which opens and closes the crossing gates. I decided that was a good mechanism and decided to reproduce it. As you know, normally with model trains, everything goes wrong and is more difficult than expected. Murphy's Law at work. But I got lucky with this railroad crossing. Fortunately, Bush put a little hole in the counterweight, so I was able to attach a wire, actually a bent paper clip, to actuate the gates. Here's how I built the mechanism. I used a tortoise switch motor, which I hoped would survive the unheated winter, and it actually did. I attached the actuator wires to the counterweights on the bush crossing gates, as I showed you in the previous slide. Then I bent a wire hanger and attached it to the tortoise switch motor and finally, I fastened everything using hot melt glue. At first, I used the layout 16 volt power supply, but the gates went up and down at hyper speed, so I ended up using an old cell phone power supply which has lower voltage to make the speed more realistic. Here's the mechanism in action. So when the lever goes down, the gates go up, and when the lever goes up, the gates go down. And here are the gates in action when a passenger train comes by. I was pretty happy with the result.